Good morning. So something slightly a little bit different today. So Dan actually got me this box for me birthday. And I never ever got round to it. I, if I be honest, I forgot to even mention to anyone that I'd gotten this box. So I'm going to explain what this box is. Now it didn't originally come in a box. It all came in folders and stuff like that. And then Dan got me this box to put it all into as well. So it's not an original box. It's just, it's just a beautiful box. So what's inside the box? Let's bring you down and take a look. So I just wanted to go through some of these today because I haven't actually been through this now since, since my birthday. Like, so there we go. So Dan actually is all into this. Let me bring you up again. Sorry. Dan is all into like this antique stuff, love letters and stuff on his channel. Um, Desperate Dan Discovers. Uh, go over and subscribe. And um, so he thought that I might like something like that for my birthday. Something where I can do something like that on my channel. So there we have it. We have a load of love letters. Now I can't remember the dates. I can't remember the names. Me and Dan have opened about possibly three of these letters and that's it and we've gone through all the other stuff in here as well but you haven't seen what's in here so there we go so let's just bring you down to take a take a look so i'm going to bring you here can we bring you down there right so they are all love letters we think they're in some kind of an order but they're not really in order so that's unfortunate to get them in order now would be, take a total month for Sundays so let's just take one out now every practically every single one also comes with um, oh I shouldn't be really showing addresses there should I practically every single one well I don't think you'd know that one anyway that's just Norway so this was obviously from the wife to her, her, hus uh, her husband um, I'm guessing so I've gone off track a little bit there I've forgotten exactly what I was saying <laughs> right so these are love letters I'm not sure that of their names I can't remember their names I can't remember the dates so this is all from the wartime I'm just going to bring you around here a little bit this is all from sort of the wartime just love letters and stuff like that so we could go through a couple of these now, I'll be honest though, I don't even know if I could read the writing. When we went through about three of these, I want to say Dan actually had read, read it for me. <laughs> so one, two, three, four, five, six. So there's actually three pages to this one, oh God. <laughs> so he's filming now. I knew he was going to do this. So another reason why Dan actually got me this, because he thought then I could like do maybe a spirit box kind of a session on this. Now I was a bit unsure. I thought maybe, maybe it seemed kind of disrespectful or a bit close to home, you know, with actually having their personal items. But then if you think about it, I mean, people do that anyway when they go to graveyards or... Well, not even if they go to graveyards. When, whenever they're on a spirit box, they're still calling out the dead, aren't they? So is it ethically wrong? Is that the word? Or is it okay to? I don't know. I'm a bit unsure about that one. So let me know if, if you think that would be good or not. But I, I don't know if I'd really like to enjoy that one. So this one's a bit long. I'm going to... I'm actually going to skip this one. Maybe that weren't even the first one anyway. Let me try. I'm just going to... Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to pick one out. Let's just pick one out. So I need to remember kind of where they go in. So I'm going to lift that up. <laughs> so this one's got loads of kisses on it. So... <clears throat> now I don't know if this is the man or the woman. Let me... Let me just see. Who is... I'll have to ask Dan what their names were again. I can't, I can't remember their names. Mm. No, I'm going to ask Dan. Babe, yeah. do you remember their names? I can't figure out their names. Here he comes. I can't, I can't remember their names. I don't know. Um, where's that? That's the last one. That's from someone. 
it's hard, isn't it? It's all kind of posh writing, you see, all sort of joined, joined writing. Steel. Yeah, but that's their second name, isn't it? I can't, is it George? Yes, I think it George. Might. It's George. Right, so they... He's called George. So here's George. What would the woman be called? Um, Let me try this one. I think she was a... Uh, was it Ela Irene? Elaine? Oh, Irene. That's what that says. I think it is Irene. Are you sure? I think so, yeah. Is it Vera? Was that another woman? <gasps> is that another woman? I'm sure that says Vera. That says Vera. Maybe it's Vera then. I don't remember it being Vera, do you? I don't know. I don't know, right. So we'll have to assume it's Vera at this point. George, George and, Vera. and Vera. Could have sworn it was Irene or Eileen or something like that. <laughs> but look, look at the end of this one. Does that look like Vera to you? Yeah, it could be. I don't know. Don't, don't ask me. I don't know. Okay. I'm going to struggle reading these letters, aren't I? Alright, so we're going to start off. So this is to George, is what I'm guessing, because this was addressed to the Air, Air, Royal Air Force. Royal Air Force. I'm going to see if there's a date on this. It says June the 13th on the letter. 1945. Ooh. 1945. That's an old one. Are you stood on my computer? Yeah, they are. <laughs> <laughs> now I've got to bring them down. They want to see the books. <laughs> right, so let's try and see if we can read this then. Bring you back a little bit. So these are quite sweet. When um, I mean, Dan's better at reading these. Right, you're going to have to ex uh, excuse my spellings, mistakes. Something, something, sweet, adorable, hey, sweet, adorable, darling. Another day and still no news of you, darling. I'm wondering how much longer I'll have to wait till I hear the postwoman bring in a letter and I can see your writing on the envelope it seems so much so that doesn't sound I was going to just say there I, that doesn't sound like then that that's from her but I suppose it is anyway I'm really really struggling I can see your writing on the envelope it seems such a long time since I heard from you my sweet I keep wondering all sorts of things about you my darling I do wish I could hear from you although I haven't heard from you I know you are thinking of me <laughs> bit presumptuous <laughs> and that you and that you still love me darling I can I can always feel happy when I think of the times we've spent together. The fun we have had, my sweet. I miss all those. Oh no, this is a well long letter. <laughs> happy times now that you are so far away. Happy times now that you are so far away. Why would you say that to your loved one? I don't know how I'll excise when, excise when you have been away for a few months. It is bad enough for me now. I won't be so bad, darling, when I can hear from you I, on basically very, regu very regularly, regularly, can't say that word. <laughs> It is so terribly disappointing when there is no post for each day. I'm all the time wondering how you are. <laughs> That's so she's spent a, a letter and a half now so far just wondering why she hasn't heard from her husband. 
But you can also tell that she written half of the letter and gone back the next day because now it's a darker pen. <laughs> so she hasn't sat there all in one go, I'm guessing. Oh, unless if it's just faded, it might have just faded. Yeah, because there's some fadiness on there as well. Right, <clears throat> how are you? If you are quite well, where you are, it is very worrying without news of you, darling. I keep crying and upsetting myself, thinking all kinds of things. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, and if only I could hear from you again. I couldn't write a letter like this worrying you, darling. But I suppose what she's getting at, I mean, this is during the wartime. She's worried that something's obviously happened to him, hasn't, isn't she? You know, whether he's died or something some some drastic news um so where am i now worrying you darling but i feel unhappy and somehow i find i'm writing all that i didn't intend to don't worry about what i've written dearest try the time you receive this by the time you receive this letter i'll have received some of yours and ex Expect. I'm missing you terribly, my darling, and thinking of you very, very much. She really loved this man, didn't she? I do hope this is, what was her name, Fira? Yeah. Because <laughs> I could have sworn it was Eileen or Irene. Uh, thinking of you very, very much. I'm madly in love with you, my sweet. And Im imagining... Imag imagining with all my heart for you, love again. You really can't imagine how I love to be in your arms and to be held close to your heart. Share all those heavenly. Oh, that's so sweet. Moments with you, darling. Uh, they're f about for a time. I don't know what that means. A time. It is very difficult, right? So I'm there. It is quite difficult. I have to try and make it up some of this. <laughs> uh, that must have... Right, I'm going to have to skip that a little bit. She's still going on about how, how much she loves him. Um, I keep thinking of that last evening. Oh, I keep thinking of that last evening when we were together alone. Oh, how dreadful you felt or something like that. I don't know what that one says. I'm sure that says feet actually. Getting a bit personal. And how hard it was to leave you, darling. Those precious... which skipped by so quickly have been lived over time and time again in my thoughts ever since you left on the train. Uh, I thought about... Oh, I don't know what that says. Oh, our writing's awful. But then my spelling's awful. It's not so much the spelling, it's the actual um, joined up writing. So I can only imagine I'm going to get through one of these today because, trust me, I've gone and picked the long blimmin' one, haven't I? Well, I started it now. I can't let you all down now. So basically, she's reminiscing um, how they spent their last night together. Something to do with feet. <laughs> Getting on the train the next day. Oh, it's quite sad though, isn't it? You imagine back in them days how the women, well, and the men, how they would have felt with their loved ones, or that your cousins, your your sons, your daughters, your mothers, your fathers, your loved ones going away like that. I suppose you would really be over the top. I mean, let's be real, she's a bit over the top here, isn't she? Going on and on and on, how much I love you, how much I worry about you, and she's done like four pages of it so far. But I suppose... Back in them days, you know, and this was your only way of communicating and you sit down and you've got, you get your thoughts together, you've got a pen, you're going to split it all out, aren't you? You want to show that person how much you do truly love them and miss them. 
and um, also then George receiving this is going to appreciate it you know it's not like they can text each other or e email each other is it so I suppose that's what the other one then wants to hear but yeah back in them days that would have been awful wouldn't it <clears throat> So yeah, this is all during the war time. I'm not sure what what year, 40, 45. So that was after the First World War then, was it? I don't know if it was the second. But anyway, let me carry on. I wonder when we'll be together once more. I wonder when I can open my eyes and look up at you, find that I'm really with you. I want to tell you how terrifying Oh, how terribly I love you. Oh, How freely I feel right... How... I'm not sure what that one is. How something I feel right now. Um, Travelled many miles. You are away from me. My heart and thoughts will always be with you, darling. And will always be in your love with you. Oh, I will always be in love with you. I'm still away... I'm still so save I'm still saving like mad for our wedding. Ah, oh. see she didn't actually even spell our wedding. Uh, our is spelled out for out wedding. So she has got spelling mistakes. Oh, I wonder how much she saved. She might tell us in a minute. For our, anyway, so I'm still saving like mad for our wedding. So they're not married at this point. So this is probably an earlier on one then. Oh, I don't know. I don't know, actually. And dream home. Oh, that's so cute. Dear, um, I'm longing so terribly for that time to come. That is my biggest wish. Well, sweetheart, I hope this letter reaches you uh, as you are feeling quite... Ho I'm just going to make this word up. Hope you are feeling quite well and happy and looking after yourself for me. Please don't worry about me, dearest. I'm quite well and as happy as you can. Guess I could free now that you're away guess I could feel now that you're away I'll be quite all right so don't worry so she's just saying don't worry about me oh uh, brother is quite well but fed up with continually queuing every day for everything <laughs> Pot potatoes are terribly scarce here Oh my God. Oh, that's quite, yeah, that sort of brings back sort of the memories of what they all had to go through, isn't it? No, you know, no money, no food and stuff. So potatoes are terribly scarce here. And it is, it is queuing now for practically everything. What, did you not have to queue back in them days? <laughs> I don't know. It is nothing to wait it is nothing to wait in a queue for two hours. <gasps> oh, everywhere it is queues. Oh, that's that's horrendous. Oh, I'm, I'm one of these, I won't do queues. Oh, yeah, I'd be moaning as well. Sad at this moment. Sad, sad at this moment is really busy taking the shelter to pieces. It will be lovely to have that ugly thing out of the way. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I suppose a lot of people did couldn't wait to rip them down, but that's part of the history now, isn't it? If you have one of them left up in your garden. I've always wanted a garden with one of those. It's just part of history. Um, so to me, this sounds like at the end of the war. Did I get this one at the back? I think I got this one right at the back there, didn't I? No, I didn't. I got it up there. So, yeah, they're not in order. Anyway, it'd be lovely to have, to have that ugly thing out of the way. But we were glad of it during the war. Yeah, so this must be after the war. You can guess the language isn't quite the good English language. It is a bit of a problem to get it down. Stanley Beck and the dance of Chester 
is on the radio right now. Am I saying that then? Is this a pa- uh, like a singer? Stan- Stanley Beck and the dance of Ches- Chester is on the radio right now. And they are playing. There goes there goes that song again. There goes that song again. There goes that song again. Let me see if I can see what that sounds like. I'm quite intrigued. So bear with me. <clears throat> there goes that song again. It says Harry James on here, but oh, Frank Sinatra. No, she ain't. She's written Stanley Beck. Let's listen to a bit of Frank Sinatra just quick. Get to the words. That's so nice. You can only just imagine yourself being there, can't you? Listening to that on the radio. Right. Uh, which reminds me of you. Which reminds me of you, Leaf Darling, the, that last leaf, that last leaf, I think she's talking about the last day they spent together, was simply, oh, was simply heaven. Oh, they had a really nice last day together, didn't they? Especially that last something day, that hot day, the weather's me. Right, so, okay, I can't do any more on that one. I think I've done well. Right, so this is the last one. So it was hot then when he went. Right, so here we go. I'm so glad I didn't go to the shop on that Saturday. We did have that weekend together at last. At least, sorry. Mother and Dad wish to be remembered to you. Also Lily and Doris, darling, do Please take very great care of yourself for me, won't you? I will for you. Remember, I love you and I always will. You forever, always in my thoughts. Every minute while we are parted, do please write as often as possible. I'll write again tomorrow, dearest. A little on the lonely side. On the... On the... While... Don't know what that word is. A little... Anyway, she's a little bit lonely since you've... Her writing is awful, right? Every time I put the wireless... I think she's trying to say wireless, like as in the radio, but it's not saying wireless. (laughs) On that time is on. The words fit into no way well, dear. I am a little on the lonely side. I should really cut out the little, which reminds me of you, of your letters out the future I read yours old letters lots of times dear so she's basically saying she goes through all his old letters I really must say goodbye for this time dear God bless you and keep you safe well and happy and bring you home um, safely very soon all my love all my life with all my heart my darling I oh, love I love you always here or something like that and lots of kisses so that actually did sound like that's sort of towards the end of the war there doesn't it um, so sweet you can only imagine her sitting down having to write that and um, oh, I don't know it's quite touching isn't it especially when then I play, played that little bit of music as well so sorry about my reading of that. It wasn't just the joint writing. Her spelling was awful as well. And, um, you know, I tried. <laughs> I will do some more, though. Not today. I don't think I can do any more today. But what I want, want to show you now is also what is in this box. So we've got a whole load of this box of love letters, love letters, love letters. Um, what I find a shame with these, if I be totally honest is the fact that they belong in the family, don't they? I don't know how they end up on eBay 
it's for people to buy such treasured items. I mean, you haven't even seen the rest of the stuff I've got here as well. Surely a grandson or a granddaughter or something would have loved to have had these kind of things. I know I definitely would have done if it had been my nan and granddad, you know, and um, it's such a shame. I have said to Dan, I'm thinking about trying to search, search out some family members and stuff like that. But then are they on an eBay on eBay for the fact that they just didn't want them? Or on they or were they on eBay because they just got lost, you know, with houses getting sort of, you know, when somebody dies and stuff, they just have clear, clear what are they called? Clear clear outs? Is it a clear out? Yeah, I think it's a clear out. I can't think of the words. <laughs> so yeah, it's a it's a bit of a shame come towards the end of me sort of dealing with this I might look like I said look into maybe trying to track down some family members like I said though they might not be interested maybe they were just interested in the money for these precious little items you know some people just ain't interested in history I'd be surprised now if half of you are even still here watching the rest of this vlog so I'm really sorry like I said about the way I sort of read that I did also pick the longest letter. It was very sweet though. It was an insight to, you know, how they would have spoken to their partners back then. The cues made me laugh. Yeah, you think about it. I suppose you'd been queuing up for hours and hours and you would have to as well, just to get your little bit of sugar or a loaf of bread or a potato, you would. So going into the rest of this box now, let's just bring you down. I'm only gonna, I'm not gonna show you what's exactly in these things. I'm just going to show you some other little bits and pieces that we will be showing, maybe on another one. If you like this one, if you didn't like it, then we won't go into the rest of the bits. So we do also have some like photos and stuff like that. Some stuff there. This, you've got to remember, this is all related to the same couple. Um, let me see if I can, oh, it was making a mess. We have this, there's some secret bits in there all tatted up little box we also have a little wallet now I know Dan's been through this I might have sat there and watched him but I haven't actually been through this myself the Royal Air Force service and release book um, also I do know Oh, it might have been somewhere else. So we've got the Royal Air Force Diary. Could be interesting. I can't remember what's in these. This has been months now. You've got to remember my birthday was in February. And we've also got this kind of wallet thing as well. So I know these hold items as well. But like I said, this video is going on now. It took me way too long, didn't it, to um, read that letter. But next time... I will go through some more letters. I'll try and find one sort of during the war or more at the beginning. I think that would be a bit more, it's not interesting. It's a bit more, I don't know. I'd like to see how it all started off. That's how I would have liked it. What, like read the initial going off to war and stuff like that and their emotions written down in their letters. So that's the little um, birthday box I got full of history. I hope, you enjoyed that one yep it's not the usual kind of a video but yeah you know do different things for different days so let me know down below if you would like to carry on and see read some more letters and have a look at the other items right gonna love you and leave you at this point take care love y'all bye